Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I want to talk about gallbladder, what happens if you, when you have your gallbladder removed. Now, I have a lot of patients come to me with their gallbladder removed and they have a plethora of symptoms that all kind of tie around their, due to the removal of the gallbladder. Now, again, my question is always, why did you get your gallbladder removed in the first place? And that's typically, the answer is the buildup of, gall, of stones. Now, the buildup of stones is not too much bile, it's actually, it's not enough bile, okay? So what is your gallbladder? Your gallbladder rests in the right lower quadrant. It's a small pear-shaped organ which rests right underneath your liver. Now bile is produced in the liver <clears throat> and it's stored and, con stored and concentrated in your gallbladder. And what it does, it concentrates at 20 times in the gallbladder. So every time we, break, we eat a fatty food product, what it does, once you pass through the stomach, it goes into the small intestines it sends a signal to the gallbladder, which helps secrete the bile to help break down the fats. That's the, gall, the function of the gallbladder in a nutshell. Other things that the gallbladder does, it absorbs the healthy fats. It drains the waste products from the liver as well. Okay? It helps lubricate the colon. Also, too, it helps absorb fat-soluble vitamins, vitamins A, D, E, and K. Now, what happens is that when you have your gallbladder removed, you can't concentrate the bile anymore because remember, bile is produced in the liver but it's concentrated in the bile by 20 times. So we're not getting concentrated bile anymore. So bile is just seeping through the duct system and into the small intestines. So what happens is we, we have incomplete fat, fat absorption. Essential fatty acid deficiency. Now we're talking about, you know, again, omega-3s, 6s, we're talking about DHA. So you're not getting those fatty acids absorbed into the system because you don't have, you, you don't have the, the stored concentrated bile to do so. So what's happening is you're going to have a decrease in the absorption of the fat-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. Now what are those? What happens? For example, vitamin A. When you get deficiency in vitamin A due to not having your gallbladder, you're going to have poor night vision because vitamin A is phenomenal for the eyes. It's phenomenal for the skin, so you're going to have, you may have uh, psoriasis, dermatitis, so forth and so on, acne, dry skin, because you're going you're getting deficient in vitamin A. Vitamin D, particularly vitamin D3, vitamin D3 is phenomenal for the brain, it's, it's phenomenal for mood, depression, you're not, you'll, you'll be, again, you'll be moody. Bone pain, because bone pain, because vitamin D3 helps with the absorption of calcium. The immune system, you may get more sicker because you don't have the gallbladder, which helps secrete the bile, uh, helps secrete the bile efficient, effectively. Vitamin E is good for the blood circulation in the heart. Vitamin K, particularly vitamin K2, okay? You're gonna get soft tissue calcification because what happens is vitamin D3 pulls calcium into the bloodstream. However, vitamin K2 pulls it from the blood into the bones and teeth where it belongs. You may get headaches. This is where you get, now you have so much, this is where you have a lot of calcium, cal, uh, calcium building up in your system, so you may get cataracts. Kidney stones, remember, stones are not, the, are not due to the cause of too much bile. Stones are typically caused by too little bile. This is also where you may get arthritis, due to the fact you're not absorbing these nice B vitamins. Because again, the side effect is deficiency in B vi fat soluble vitamins. So the question is, now that you got your gallbladder removed, okay, what should you do about it? I always recommend, again, now that, because you're not gonna be able to break down those healthy fats. So this is where you need to eat a lot more cleaner. You do it like a more, uh, again, like a more paleo diet. High in meats, high in vegetables, okay? You wanna take your supplementations, the vitamins A, the vitamins D, D the, the supplement K, uh, vitamin E, you wanna take K2, because remember, you don't have the bile to absorb that. So you need additional supplementations on top of that. However, the one key thing that I always recommend for my patients who don't have a gallbladder to do on a daily basis is to take bile salts or some type of gallbladder formula. And you want to take that with foods. I typically recommend twice to three times a day, again, to help with the breakdown of the fat-soluble vitamins, to help drain the waste from the liver, to help lubricate the colon. So again, so what's going to happen, the side effects, you're going to get bloating. You're going to get right shoulder pain because, again, the nerve that helps innervate the gallbladder comes up through here, courses up through your shoulder to the right side. Incomplete toxic, toxic elimination. And the thing about the gallbladder, because it helps drain waste in the liver, 
the liver is an important component in converging uh, your thyroid T4 to active T3. So this is where you're going to get thyroid problems with no gallbladder. Constipation, because one of the functions of bile is to help lubricate the colon. So if you're not lubricating the colon, this is where you're going to get backed up. So this is where constipation occurs. And to double that up with bloating. Okay? So when you have a gallbladder removed, again, the function, the side effects, what to do about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Hello, this is Dr. Jawad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Jawad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Jawad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Jawad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Jawad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Jawad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Jawad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Jawad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Jawad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.